Well, Connecticut businesses are busy right now. They're getting ready for the most aggressive reopenings we've seen in the tri-state during this pandemic. It happens in exactly two weeks. Let's take a look here. Restaurants, stores, libraries, gyms, offices, houses of worship, all of them eliminating capacity limits, but not all pandemic safety measures will go away. News Force Mark Santia joins us from Stanford. Social distancing and face coverings will still be required, but capacity limits will be lifted at many locations. No need to trim their staff. Here at Majesta Beauty Salon in Norwalk, they are getting ready to bring stylists back full time after staggering shifts for months due to limited capacity. We're all very excited. It's like going back to normal. Connecticut restaurants will also be allowed to go to full capacity. And this Valencia Lancheria customer says, with thousands getting vaccinated and low infection rates in the state, I think that makes a lot of sense. I mean, you have to trust the, the public to make their own decisions. Capacity restrictions will also be lifted off Connecticut gyms. It's going to help uh, our members feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, it's the direction that I think uh, not only the gyms, but all the small businesses around here uh, we're hoping to get, go to. Safety and cleaning measures. Michael Carroza says they have worked well here and those precautions will not stop. We're going to have to continue to you know, work on protocol and procedures and you know make sure that the new people coming in understand you know what the regulations are. This means the beginning of the end. This is uh, hope and optimism. Executive Director of the New Canaan Chamber of Commerce, Laura Budd, tells News 4 the governor's order not only helps businesses, but communities and events like farmers markets, sidewalk sales, and our Fourth of July committee met, starting to make plans, ordering fireworks. You know, all with knowing that if we do have a spike, we're going to be pulled back, but we're cautiously optimistic. In Stanford, Mark Santia, News for New York. Mayor de Blasio says New York City high schools will find out next week when they can go back to in-person learning. Now, one of the draft letters going out has a date of March 22nd, but the Department of Education says this is not official and it will share the news with principals first. High schools have been closed since November. All other grade levels are back inside the classroom. Well, happening now, movie lovers finally back in theater seats tonight in the city, but good luck finding a ticket. We found that most screenings were sold out. There's a 25% capacity limit up to 50 people. Your seat will be assigned and masks are still required. News 4's Linda Baccaro found out why some theaters say this might be difficult to bring people back to the big screen. I am happy to be here today, entertainment. I love it. Richard Lawson loves being back at the movies now that New York City is allowing theaters to open with 25% capacity and no more than 50 people per screening. All 13 AMC theaters in the city reopened today, including this one in the Bay Plaza Shopping Center. Movie and popcorn lovers eager for the first show at 10 a.m. Happy to be back. Yes, I bought my popcorn and my juice. I'm ready to go. AMC's safe and clean program includes upgraded air filters and socially distant seating. Concession stands will feature a limited menu with cashless transactions preferred, and you'll have to ask for condiments and napkins. But another theater chain, Regal, chose not to reopen today. And some independent theaters, like Cinema Village in Manhattan, plan to reopen next month. The only issue is the content that's available. All of the films being shown here at this theater today are also being streamed online. Does that make a difference for you? Like no, it doesn't, because we like to actually, you know, the whole experience, to come into the movie theater and experience it that way. It's not the same like at home. I see Tom and Jerry today. I'll come back on Tuesday. And with limited seating, several showings today at this theater are sold out. In the Bronx, Linda Beccaro, News 4, New York. In the race to vaccinate, people were out at Yankee Stadium in the wee hours of the morning for the first overnight appointments. It's all part of a pilot program designed to quickly distribute the state's supply of Johnson & Johnson vaccine appointments. Now, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine appointments for the single shot started at 8 p.m. They ran through 7 a.m. Now, that's for Bronx residents only, but in just a few hours, the Javits Center will also start to vaccinate people overnight, and that will start tonight at 9 o'clock. On Long Island, hundreds of educators and school staff got their vaccine. 
vaccines in Rockville Center today. Teachers from Oceanside, Rockville Center, Island Park, and Long Beach rolled up their sleeves to get the shot with a big assist from Nassau County and Mount Sinai South Nassau. Now, the county set up this vaccine pod for about 300 people. School administrators selected who would get vaccinated and they showed up to get their first doses. Although teachers have been eligible since January, they couldn't get any appointments, so the pod gave them that much needed opportunity. It was a very pleasant experience, not uncomfortable at all, and I'm so relieved right now. I feel so happy. Uh, we felt safe in the schools anyway because of the protocols we've been following, uh, but it's an added measure of security that's uh, um, very reassuring. Now, in two weeks, the county will organize another vaccine pod and invite other school districts as well. In New Jersey, CVS Pharmacy just opened up appointments at 100 new locations. These locations were added to the lineup of sites after they received shipments of the J&J &J vaccine. Now, they plan to start administering that vaccine tomorrow.